was in Tahoe on vacation with the family and uh, for the most part having fun, swimming and doing all that kind of stuff that everyone should not forget to do lest we all be glued to the computer chasing the magical stock market. Um, it's important to, again, be able to focus away. And having done that, I come in with kind of like a fresh, clean slate. And Brad? Brad, Brad, Brad. Well, while you've been vacationing, we, some of us here at Trade Ideas, have had our nose to the grindstone, continuing to put out incredible stuff. 100%. And since this is the Q&A webinar, and we want to keep this entertaining too, because again, we have your attention for a very short amount of time, and we're going to try to make a lot of impact. So let's just, Brad, let's just jump in. This one is not going to be one you haven't heard because we kind of talked about a lot of this stuff, but it's going to be good. Maybe the best one ever, Brad. <laughs> I would expect right. nothing less. Exactly. As a disclaimer, please be aware that Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. All the information that you are going to hear today is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want information to buy some kind of a security, please make sure you contact a registered investment advisor. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's jump into the nitty gritty. Brad, so we're building this incredible thing, but it is really up to us to kind of distill what we do in a way that people can like, you know, not be overwhelmed by silly things like numbers and zigzags and fonts and, you know, which is a lot of what's out there. So what I want to do is I want to kind of have this start the present. We're going to get into a lot of the tech and everything, but what I want to start with is the distillation of investors who are making their own choices. Okay. And I'm already assuming you're kind of on that edge where, especially the people that aren't uh, subscribers, the subscribers are obviously already investing, but the ones that aren't, um, you at least understand that you're not going to get wealthy being in an index or a mutual fund or anything like that. The reason you are not going to is simply it's impossible. I mean, of course, the whole civilization could, you know, we could find free energy and whatever. I mean, you know, all sorts of science fiction, science fiction type Star Trek stuff where, of course, you won't have to worry about the stock market. But in the real world, um, you only have a few choices that you control. And so for those that are already smart enough to know that you need to be self-directed to access the ability to make returns that are above average, let's talk about what you can and cannot control. Don't you think that's a good idea, Brad? Yeah, sounds great. Good foundation. <laughs> it's the basics because yeah. underneath all of the litter, and we're going to talk about the litter but later, <laughs> here's what you can control. You can control when to buy, when to sell. These are like, you can imagine that's a mouse click, maybe a keyboard press. You can control the pressing of a button uh, one way or the other. You can do that. Now, the question is, why are you going to press the button? That's a very important question. And the reason you're going to press the button is because you're going to do what's called processing information. Information is like right now, well, number one, the market is not open. So there's nothing we can do. But we can think to ourselves, okay, well, tomorrow is going to be this amazing new day where tons of new information is going to be digested, processed, and it is up, up to us to figure out how to interpret that information. So these are the sources of the idea, okay? You are one of those sources. You can be like, you know what? I've got a feel for this. All good. You might read the Wall Street Journal. Right. You might uh, read Investors of Business Daily and follow their motto. Although it's ironic that not a single hedge fund does. Yeah, I might, but I don't. Right. It's weird. I mean, they have this thing that they say really does an amazing thing of showing you when to get into undervalued stocks, and yet there isn't really a any professional people that use that. But it is entertaining. And then, of course, there's the DVDs. Now, these aren't exactly per se sources of information, but they are the mechanics by which you digest. Someone can say, hey, you know what? If you don't know what to do, 
I, who know what to do, can show you. Watch this movie of me showing you what to do. You'll have to watch the movie and hope you can process that. Then you've got the additional sources of where information is coming from, like Twitter, stock tweets, the chat rooms. There's new stuff like Discord. And of course, again, media like YouTube, which is some of this is for idea generation. Some of this is for learning what to do with that information. But all of it goes to when to buy, when to sell, and it's the ingestion. So what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of stuff that's being thrown at you. Okay. But what I do want everyone here to understand is we have figured out the best methodology. Okay. We have come up with that thing, the thing that all of you want. But the, what you don't realize is that the reason that 90% or more of active investors or quote unquote day traders fail is not that because making money per se is so hard. That's, that's a meme. It's just that everyone is distracted by things that they think are important things and it turns out they're not. So we're going to get into a lot of that, but I just want you to think about like, how are you going to be coming up with something that where you know like, okay, this thing that I'm going to do, the, the impulse to buy or to sell is something that I can trust because trust and, and confidence come together. Brad, you know, when you and I play golf, you know, you always talk to me and you make fun like, okay, well, you know, when you say that thought, all right, don't hit it to the right. That's not a good swing thought, right? <laughs> we, that, that doesn't instill you with a sense of confidence. And all these little things, they are so important for what we are here to do. So keep this slide in your mind, okay? You can only control a few things that we're going to talk about where to focus, okay? I've done this presentation before, but you know, Brad, it kind of popped up again and I wanted to just start from here because I think we've done maybe another one since this one, but I really liked it because the metaphor sticks. So if you look at the topography of the ocean through sonar, this is what it looks like. See these ripples and you know, here you can tell it's blue and so maybe it's more flat and when there's more angle, the color is different etc cetera, etc cetera. then you take that topography and once you again process the information i showed you before you can create a map that can lead you to where you need to go and we all use this we all take this for granted but some of us who are ancient like brad for example <laughs> who you know used to have to go to triple a and get the you know the, the map, map. Mm -hmm. And and the highlighter. I mean, it, funny, not funny, right, Brad? We're so old. We've come I mean, along. I'm sure there's a few of you here who also remember going to AAA. But now we don't have to do that. And we don't have to do that because navigation is now seamless. Okay. Well, and, so, and add the addition of the processing of real-time traffic information and just all that good stuff. Right. So... But I'm going to leave this for, I'm going to talk about this slide for a second. So real, this is real time stock data. And this is what it looks like. It's a GIF and it's from Nanex. By the way, <laughs> that's our data feed. So when we talk about our servers and our AI, this is what they look at. Okay. And now imagine that versus what you look at on a chart, this two dimensional superficial kind of, arbitrary open high low closed system that was invented by humans to be able to make some sense out of something but it's very summary-esque it's not really detail oriented whereas the actual flow looks somewhat like this so to be able to make heads or tails out of the market you must be able to process this data map it and see where it can lead you. And this is why you are at this webinar. This is what we are the best at in the world. And I'm not joking at all about that. There is no other company that does what we are doing. And 
I'm going to pause here, switch, and I'm going to show you some. I mean, I'm going to give you guys such a beautiful like overview into what's happening. So first of all, Brad, let me make sure that um, you can see my screen. Yep, we see your uh, web browser. It's like the web version of TI Web. Okay, so Brad and I have done quite a bit of work on TI Web. And again, to the tune of the Q&A session, I want to show you some of that because it's pretty cool. So notice how all of this is expanded to the maximum. There's smart sizing now that if you make your window the size of the browser window and you expand one of them, if you're able to click on it, which I'm not for some reason because I'm crazy. Here we go. Look, it'll just all the columns, everything sizes by itself. This is done so that, again, this transfers very well to the iPad. Okay. And all of the channels now are also created in such a way to maximize a kind of smaller oriented view, but still get as much out of the web based uh, platform as possible. Obviously, you can tell that this would work completely fine on a Macintosh. So now the channels kind of come together much like they do on the Trade Ideas Pro Windows applications. Everything is converging and amazing stuff is coming. So Dan, we um, just to let everybody know, so we did a, a little blending of the channels trying to, to really bring syn synchronicity between the, the application and the web version. So you're going to see a lot more synergy between the two right now. Um, and the AI the is going to end up coming to the web. AI is coming to the web, and also in the latest web release, uh, we've got the chant, we've got the uh, surfing enabled. Yes, and that's something that you can see here. Notice how when I'm in a chart, surfing pauses. As soon as I move away, the software automatically lets you know that you're surfing. And this is so that again, if you've got your iPad open, maybe you're in a car in a back seat, or or I don't know, however you want to do it and you just don't want to keep scrolling and messing with your computer just letting it come to you this is what it's doing but i want to kind of brad jump into the whole vision which is we're kind of syncing everything together where you will be able to trade both from the web-based version from the um downloadable version and and we are going to give you the ability to let our software through its ai assist you in not just trading the AI signals, which we'll talk about later, but any stock at any point in time. So whatever it is you want, it will all be available. Now, I'm just, Brad, I'm just highlighting a quick question from, uh, uh, from David, and he was asking, are alerts coming to the web? And my answer is they will have to, of course. The price alerts, yeah. Yes. Do you see Brad's nodding his head knowing that I'm looking right at him? Well, I think I think David's talking about the price alerts, not just alerts, yeah. right? We already no, have alerts. No, of course. Brad, but that's what I'm saying is that we're going to bring synchronicity to the whole thing. And eventually, you will also be able to use Brokerage Plus from the web somehow. So this is... Again, this is the this is a beta, but this is what the web will look like very soon. Brad, um, when do you think that we're gonna put this up on the actual? Uh, oh, it'll, web it'll be it'll be up by the end of the week. I'm hopeful it'll be up tomorrow. Yeah, and again, just a quick uh, browse through. You've got the short squeeze channel, which is focusing on stocks that are moving against the quote unquote smart uh, uh, money. And that's sometimes one of the best examples uh, that, that you can have. On that note, I'm going back to uh, going back to what I had um, talked about in the previous slide. Um, when I talked about idea generation and uh, how important it is and what people choose to focus on. Okay, so as investors. Our job is to figure out what's bullshit and what's not bullshit. But it's not easy because there's a whole industry that has been created to sell you 
Brad, what? I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> and let me explain. How often do you worry about like pennies when you get into a trade? Probably more often than you could ever think about. You say things like, oh my God, I didn't get that price level. I missed it by a cent or I missed it by five cents. I but think only the trades that don't really go are you worried about those pennies, but the real good signals, the real good calls, a penny or two doesn't make a difference. Well, this what I'm saying is that when people don't know what's possible, and this is why I'm bringing this up right here, okay? Look at Weight Watchers. This has been something that Steve Gomez uh, talked about at this price level, around 12, somewhere right after it came down, because it was maybe after earnings or something. I don't remember which one, but it was right around this area, like 300% below. And our point is always that when people do not understand uh, what is possible in the market, the kind of returns that are there and that are not necessarily made like overnight or uh, on gap ups, then they start to, and again, Scott, you're, I, I, I overrule your research on the term red pill because I looked it up and it still, I think, refers to being given the red pill like the matrix, seeing the truth, instead of just swallowing. Um, and this is the truth. These things are possible. It doesn't take um, a rocket scientist at all. It just takes somebody that understands that there's a lot of incredible alpha that's kind of hidden in plain sight. And it's hidden in plain sight because there's, an, like I said, an industry that's designed to push you to give them their money. That's why a lot of people are taught to think they can't make an investment decision. And even when they do, then the odds get really stacked against them because you're sent on kind of wild goose chases to find the MACD or the RSI and all these things that have been passed on from generation to generation before there was an understanding of how data actually worked. And as a result, you start focusing on random numbers and pennies to get in, whereas if you understood data and understood volatility, you could be in situations like Weight Watchers at the right price where you can withstand the wiggle and then be able to ride it, or at least to hear. <laughs> so that's what we're trying to bring to the table. Um, that is the way that we perceive you want to view the market. All of these things are there for us to take advantage of if we can just give up some of these preconceived notions that A, it's too difficult, and B, that only smart people do it. Smart is a funny term, you know, like book side analytics are just not always the most important indication of success. There's lots of different nuances to success, and one of them is being able to control your emotions processing information that's not symmetrical, you know, that's not one plus one equals two. That's what the stock market is. That's the beauty of it. And so much alpha and potential hides there in plain sight. I use Weight Watchers as this example of, we brought this to your attention. We talked about things like this and Weight Watchers is just one example. There's tons of Weight Watchers out there, but if you are focusing on the Wall Street Journal and on CNBC and things that are just looking for the advertising dollar versus a vested interest to communicate alpha opportunity to you, well, then you will never be able to red pill yourself. You will never be able to see what's really going on in the stock market. That's our mission, to open people's eyes. So one of the ways that we do that is by, again, creating outstanding technology, stuff that um, does a lot of cool things by itself, and this is what I'm showing you in the web-based version. But now I'm going to pop in right to Trade Ideas Pro, okay? And we're going to talk about, we're going to go back to the topic of the slide, things you pay attention to, but I wanted to bring something up that that affects literally everything in active investing. It's the battle of the why versus the when, okay? Humans generally like to know why things happen. 
although in reality we almost don't know anything about how anything happens but we have this notion that we need to like for example everybody here probably understands whether they drive an electric car or a gasoline car that you fill it up at the gas station you put in your key turns on and you press the pedals and it goes but all the mechanics underneath the engine the combustion or the electric battery and and the difference between the two all these are nuanced things that you do not think about you don't worry about it and you take for granted okay but in the stock market one of the biggest hurdles is the desire to know the why everything happens so in this case brad we have so in this case we have the reason why but i want to kind of talk to you about how cool it is that you're seeing it and it's both good and bad and sad and at the same time so everyone is aware of what happened in houston okay houston got hit by one of the largest uh natural disasters in u.s history and the amount of reconstruction that's going to have to happen there is almost like in and of itself a stimulus and it's sad to think about how that is the case but as business people and as people that understand how economics works you have to simply acknowledge the fact that this flood is going to cost tons of money to rebuild everything highways homes businesses anything and everything you can imagine it will need to be rebuilt so when we saw today CPBX pop in on the artificial intelligence, I immediately pointed out to Brad how this is a perfect example of the why coming together with the when because it's so obvious, but a lot of times that just simply isn't the case and you have to understand that that's not the case. So this is much more of an anomaly, but what it does showcase, um, and this is what's kind of super cool about having this technology. I mean, I almost feel like Elon Musk because, I mean, I know how people use this and how it affects them, but <laughs> the AI uses data, right, to search for pockets of profitability through pockets of probability. So we start almost with the, the understanding that you have to make money, okay? That's our first thing, right? It's not just about patterns. It's about, well, these patterns have to be able to be taken advantage of. And what I love is that it kind of proves our thesis, Brad, and we've seen this before because we had caught an FDA approval like pre-halt. I forgot which one it was, but it was super cool because we talked about it. But this is kind of one of those other things, and it kind of, and it at the same time combines all these different elements, Brad, that you and I discuss, which is the AI does not think about day trading, although we get in and out of things, okay? The AI thinks every trade has long-term implications. That's by design because in our minds, we're trying to think to ourselves that there are a million people using trade ideas in different parts of the world processing this. And basically, this is like the right way to look at news. Well, you know, you Dan, know? I, I think you gave an example just a few moments ago with Weight Watchers, right? Because that was an early AI signal several days in a row as it was breaking out early on. Totally. You know, it's really up to you, the trader, to decide how long you're going to hold this position. What is it that you're looking to to achieve out of the trade? You know, this could be a great intraday trade and an even a better longer term swing trade. But but, but this boils down to I mean, I, no, one you are 100 percent right. But but my my the biggest point and how I'm trying to tie all of this into this this the, the second slide, which talk about what you can control. Remember I said, we have the thing, the it thing. So ultimately, again, you will be distracted. You will want to follow maybe a guru or you're going to turn on the market. The market's open. How do you know what to do? Where to put your money? Is it Netflix? Was it you or are you just copying somebody? These are things that are happening in real time. And what we are saying to you is that Holly is the best way to allocate your attention 
because we're putting the odds in your favor. Every one of these trades is odds based. She's not winging it, she's winning it. She's winning through massive statistical analysis that nobody else does. Consider this, guys. And I used to, <laughs> Brad, I kind of love this story, but it takes, remember our odds maker, which was the, what, which is really the cement of the AI. You and I used to joke, we used to sit there, you know, playing golf, and uh, we'd say, you know what the odds maker showed me? All my ideas suck how hard it is to create a good profitable long-term strategy i know well well because what you what you know it's like be careful what you ask for you're going to find out some things you might not want to know that's again the red pill what you found what we found out is there's no such thing as a working strategy why dan what are you talking about aren't you aren't you telling us that holly is a working strategy well huh. there's an, a working approach Okay, every one of our strategies, the like this one that called CBPX, uh, the construction company benefiting from the hurricane, bullish pullback. This strategy is a different version of bullish pullback that was on yesterday, if it was even on. Because every time you add new data, like the way this trade worked, Holly redesigns the question so as to catch more of these, if these are the things that are working. That goes back to think about the data flowing through that GIF. It's one of the real powerful things about, about trade ideas, Dan, because you know, you're looking, the market's giving us that data that's flowing through the GIF. But if you're actually looking, or if someone was to create a GIF of the market data flowing through trade ideas, it would be exponential to that because we create new data off of that data that you see. So not only are we getting that data, but we get this new data like relative volume or position in various ranges and all these other things that the AI is using to look at, looking at all these different data points so, every day to massage that strategy. And, and Brad, this is the beauty of it. Like we, again, we just evolved the right thing. And guys, it's just starting. This is the thing, what I'm trying to tell you is, we are just scratching the surface of what's possible in the market and look at what we're doing. For, okay, so I'm gonna expand this out real quick, right? Um, look at the percentages and mind you, okay, I mean, you're not going to have everything be positive. That's impossible. But you have a 2%, 1, 1, 1, 6, 4, 3, almost 2, 1 and a half. I mean, in terms of hedge funds, and I talk about this on Twitter. So hedge funds look at everything as basis points because, you know, they can't do anything. They're like, listen, I made a one hundredth of a percent. So they couldn't even say percent. But you can't talk about percents because you never make percents. Mm -hmm. Talk about basis points makes it like basketball points it's but institutional. institutional speak that's 618 basis points if you told somebody you got in a trade made 618 basis points they'd kick you out of the building for lying they don't talk about that kid and by the way this stuff you know it's not like it's not trading either Oh, Dan, he just talks about these stocks as AI gets us into, you know, 5,000 shares at five cents, goes up two cents. You can't scale that. I love just the informational flow, too. As I look at the list of stocks that traded today through the AI, you know, these aren't your Netflix and your Microsofts. And, you know, these are new, interesting names, things that are relevant to the world and things that are happening. No, absolutely. Well, that's what we were saying before. And again, guys, we're only going to get better at it. We're going to get so much better. at. We know what our weakness is, right? People say, and, and I'm not going to bullshit about saying, like, I don't know it. The weakness is these signals come and you, of course, will say, well, which one do I take? Hey, I get it. That is ultimately the question that the human will have to decide. It's better if you take as many of them as possible. <laughs> maybe 10 shares each, but then you don't know how many are coming. That's the nature of the AI. But remember, since we're trying to hunt the alpha, right? We're also giving you an ability to be in stocks that are not like Priceline where you have to trade one half of a share. 
you know, plus another thing, Dan, having looked at this data for like over a year and a half, these different ideas that it generates, you know, they're giving you ideas that are that are just longer term. This is not just for today. These these are the start of a lot of moves that are happening that we don't know about right now because the future hasn't played out. But you know, you look at these two weeks down the line, some of these things are going to be real rocket movers. Well, this is well, this is why I'm saying, guys, think about the construction. Though this construction move prompted Brad and I to do an overhaul of our infrastructure channel. And much like your producers at Netflix that realized that Iron Fist sucks, they just threw them right in with the defenders. So you have a little dash of Daredevil and Luke Cage. So we realized that there were some important critical plays that were missing from the infrastructure channel before and we added them. So that you are now going to get things like you know, this and this, the things that are going to be used to build infrastructure in Houston. Guys, this what stuff's going to be I mean, look what's happening to it. I ain't making this up. If this was doing that good, what the hell does this guy do? Yeah, electronical components. I mean, all this stuff. If, if this was doing... Uh, this could be the bottom if Houston comes into play. That's what that, that trade in uh, CP, whatever the hell it was that I said, CPBX, um, C, CBPX. That's how we know. That's how we know what's in play through hardcore data processing. So my suggestion to you is unless you can think of something better this is worth all of your money and then some to be the feed that you are trying to get ideas from because at least you can have confidence that every one of these is backed up by the most statistical analysis applied to anything in the stock market that's just brad that's a hundred percent and i don't want to hear bullshit about bloomberg can do it we've been at bloomberg so let me let me offer up because there you know um, Collins has been asking maybe some questions about you know how how to really make money and what's some of the best techniques and I can't really give him a great answer but I do want to show you one thing here that is super interesting especially as we're looking at this one chart so the AI did generate this signal C CBPX right and it, it kind of maybe look at that intraday chart on the right and kind of scrunch it up a little so we can see more of that data all right so great call right there and it ran up and. Then it consolidated. It consolidated for a good couple of hours, and this is a great, a great time and way to use our price alerts. Really, in conjunction with Holly, in conjunction with the, you know, earlier trade. And as you start to see that consolidation, and maybe you're not in the trade, go ahead and you put the uh, the price alert right at the top of that consolidation level. So when that bar comes in, when that move starts to take place, nobody's really going to be watching it at that point in time. But when your price alert, you know, gives you that alert to tell you, hey, this is something I should be looking at. Well, then you can make that trading decision. You've got some information behind you. You knew this was a earlier call, real, real solid volume, and it's trading four times its normal volume for the day. And when some type of breakout occurs like that, you know, if you know the way the market's trading, you look at the overall spiders, and you know, wow, this is strong. It's continuing to move. These are the kind of things that you need to be thinking about when you're deciding to put your foot on the pedal and and do something. One hundred percent. Um. But, but the point too is that, look at it again, this is the kind of trade we wanna give you, but and we do. So these happen and we try to avoid, you know, the crazy zigzag, it's just that you have to understand, it is impossible to predict the market. You know, it's like the ripple effect, you jump into the water, there's gonna be some waves. But we have the best way for you to process that information, to surf those waves to success through our channels, through the ability to set price alerts, through the fact that we provide a free gateway through Barry, our moderator of our wonderful trading room where every day he not only leads by example, but also demonstrates best practices. Um, and also of course trades the AI like an individual does and Barry has his own style for doing it. I have my own and many others have their own style but if you're looking at a feed feed of data 
we have the world's only real-time statistical trading signal data feed with odds behind it that also manages the trade, risk on, risk off. I mean, this is your Google navigation. You know, we talked about this, right? Look at this real quick. Just look at that picture. And now look at this. Here's your, I just got in here. Everything starts to get covered in real time. You can see where the profit target is. I mean, we are trying to do exactly what they're doing. It's not a secret. Meaning like provide clear, I mean, it's just that it's not a city exactly. But this is where, again, the beauty of being able to have an environment where we continually use technology to build the foundation of learning that you can rely on forever. You know, this guru, the guru that's doing this, it ain't never dying. It's not gonna get married and go on a honeymoon. It's always going to have the entry, the proper statistical exit, the proper statistical target, and every one of these trades is going to have that swing trade potential. Whether it's a Grubhub that's possibly setting up to break out again, or a pharmaceutical that's going to get some FDA approval and just run. Again, not, I'm not saying that's happening, I'm saying, but that's the kind of things that we are looking for. How could you have gone through Grub and not set your price alert on that one? My goodness. I'm, I apologize, Brad, but he's right. I mean, so you've now got the day price day. alert. You've got daily price alert. You just you want Here to know go. it. This is what Barry and I kind of use the same terminology, blue skies, if I can type. So what that means is there's just no resistance above here. That was the resistance consolidated beautifully and, and it just looks if the trend continues there's just no reason for it not to keep going that's why the ai is looking for these okay so let me answer brad let's answer some questions i want to make sure because we've given, we're giving people a lot of red pill information a lot of stuff that they have to process we're basically saying that this is the digital guru. This is the best one. And it's giving you all the information you need. And of course, we also have the Valley human assistance as well, whether it's from our constant uh, structure of webinars where you are currently right now to Barry's trading room and the highest level of support in the business. So it all comes together because we are looking to completely change the way all of us myself, Brad, and all of you here in this webinar, the way you interface with the stock market. Every opportunity needs to be really looked at in that possibility that it could go. And our AI helps us get there by just going through the numbers. It's navigation through numbers. Again, this is no different than the way the MIT card counting team would beat the guys, uh, the blackjack casinos in Vegas. It's just shifting the odds, making it slightly more advantageous for the user versus the casino. And us, by going through all these things with the law of large numbers, we're just isolating the things that will tend to work because that's how the behavior is. And we continue to learn. That's the advantage. Whatever system you think there is or IBD or whatever, right? Ours is adjusting in real time all the time. Today is being learned right now. It's a whole new game. All right, Brad, are we caught up? I mean, I'm so yeah. excited. I can't even contain myself. I think we are caught up. Uh, yeah. All right. So let us then, you know, jump into the finishing of the presentation. Any other questions? Um, we were featured in the Inc. 5000. This uh, just recently we made the top 5,000 privately held uh, fastest growing companies in the United States um, because we kick a lot of ass and I think we're going to win it next year. Um, Paula, yes, we do showcase block trades. Absolutely. Um, and because of what I'm showing you, this is what's been happening, our growth. 
And this is cool because, by the way, the more people see these stocks that are otherwise invisible, well, the more these stocks are able to move. We're freeing up the hindered potential that is right now upon the market through the industry, through the old boys, the good old boy network, that once you keep in focus on GE and Microsoft and Netflix and Google and Apple over and over and over and over again. Um, so, Steve, DD, both. It's based on revenue growth and subscriber growth. So they, had, they audited financial statements. It was kind of crazy, but, you know, I have to throw it in there. Um, we're, we're, we're the 14, 15 year overnight success, it looks like. Um, I've mentioned this several times, but one of the ways that we really started growing is when we brought on Barry and Barry has done such a phenomenal job being the leader of the trading room where, again, I, it's like he's half shrink, half professional athlete. Brad, it's so hard to pin Barry down. Hmm. Thank goodness we don't need to. But the way he just, you know, the, the, what he does is what really started the, the boom in our growth with cre creating this forum where people can exchange ideas in a human way. How do people trade this information? And Barry sets such a good example because he's both an excellent communicator and a very good trader. So that's what we attract uh, to trade ideas. We do podcasts that are pretty fun and engaging. And if you think that I'm crazy on the Q&A webinar, it's like much worse on the podcast. But lots of uh, interesting insights. Um, we just kind of speak for real. We don't we don't mince words and we try to tell it exactly the way that we see it. If you are interested in the most <laughs> incredible forward leaping technology in fintech, did I use a lot of superlatives, Brad? But they're all true, just slightly <laughs> understated. Um, this is how much we cost. Okay. And it's Nothing, considering it's 2017 and you are getting an artificial intelligence for approximately $6 a day. That's how much this is at the most expensive level. And annually, 1888, um, this is the advantage of having technology. You know, we're able to scale, we're able to do what would have used to be able to, what you couldn't do, or you would have to have such an immense infrastructure to accommodate but we built our own tech from scratch we have nothing commercial in our data center no oracles no none of that shit we have our own database our own messaging brad do you like the, the high level uh description of the <clears throat> uh but that is one of the things that separates us from everybody else you know, and our team has been together for 15 years, and that's what lets us really move quickly. There's no turnover because that is how cool the tech is. So I want to, again, just tell everyone that hopefully this isn't prohibitive, but we also, of course, for you guys attending, do have a promo code right here, uh, alpha away in all caps. We'll give you 15% off of your first month or the year of trade ideas. And this is, again, just a little hypothetical for you. Medical school, and you know you got to work really hard afterwards. I've got a buddy who's a surgeon, always working. So technology lets us do things that has never been possible before. And we are bringing that to you. And we are, again, about 14 years ahead of the pack because while everybody was trying to chase the golden indicator, we were just inventing tech for this day, for AI. And it's here. So I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to show you that we are super easy to get a hold of. That's what access is one of the things that drives our subscriber and customer growth and retention. Trade Ideas is easy to sign up. It's easy to cancel and it's easy to upgrade. So I want to focus on the upgrade because that's what most people do. We would love it if you liked us on Facebook. Um, my email right here, danatrade-ideas.com. I would tell you Brad's, but it's very complicated. You guys would never get it. 
And then there's info at trade-ideas.com. That's our general relay for general information. And if you want to follow me on, on Twitter, I'm at Trade Ideas one and I do not hold back. And our more corporate account, which is super nice, is at Trade Ideas. So, um, okay, let me, let me see. Are there any last and final questions? Ah, so yeah, I'm a little bit more optimistic than Brad on the um, crypto only because I guess I'm the CEO. Um, <laughs> Brad, I will make you code it. Well, I, to be fair, I but I think you. Robert was asking about a date uh, and yeah. rather I've than giving him a date. Send that? you into the crypto mines, but not, you know what I'm saying. Um, we are going to have cryptocurrency. You're going to be able to not only track it, uh, but trade it and pay for trade ideas with it. It's all on like Donkey Kong. And Brad's just being super corporate conservative, but because you guys are here on the webinar and I'm not afraid of plausible deniability, I'm telling you, we're going crypto because that is very exciting. And, you know, Finally, I think that there that's the challenge to the deep state money. Gold 2.0. All right, Scott, are we all set?